Hey guys, what is going on? Steven back again, and I'm going to go over a huge compilation of everything we know about The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 1. Now, I have a few pictures here I'll go through. They're not in order or anything like that. Uh, if you want to see all the pictures, feel free to go check out my filming update videos. I think 1 through 6, I believe, is uh, all of Episode 1, so all the pictures should be in there. So, let's get right into it. Uh, the first day of filming, rumored filming was Father G and Eduardo. Nothing confirmed, but social media seems to imply this. Several cast members were likely on set for today's filming. So, for the first day of filming, it was kind of a bummer day in terms of news. We aren't exactly sure who filmed. We know that they were at the studio, but mixed reports of exactly where. Uh, there are rumors that it might have taken place at Hilltop. A tour guide, who aren't always reliable, mentioned filming would kick off here. And another reliable source mentioned that the Shiva puppet was up at Hilltop, uh, Hilltop set prior to filming. This information has not been confirmed and should be taken with a grain of salt. There were also reports of possible activity on Crook Road near the studio. This road is often used, usually for quick shots, so this is definitely plausible. Now, on to the next day of filming. Uh, confirmed filming was Rick and Carl. Rumored filming, Maggie. Uh, witness believe they spotted her, but it's likely that it was just a crew member that resembles her. Uh, majority of filming took place at a gas station. Rick and Carl were both spotted on set. There was a scene witnessed where Rick was holding his python up and walking around cars, cars with Carl. Let's try saying that three times fast. Uh, there are a few walkers as well. One, one witness reported that a small child was brought to set. At this time, it is not known whether this child was involved with the filming or just belonged to someone on the crew. Uh, there might have been... Uh, they might have filmed other scenes further down the road or behind the gas station. The crew built a deer stand in a tall tree, perhaps some type of watch area. <laughs> what creeper is up there spying? Uh, I think I have a picture of that. Yeah, see again, none of my pictures are in order. Uh, but, you know, this was the uh, the gas station and everything like that. Um, you know, here's also uh, the parking lot of cars that they brought over to the gas station and, uh, you know, rearranged them and set them up and whatever order uh, let's see what else do we have but yeah as you can see uh, this is the gas station that they were at Rick and Carl were at right here as you can see all the smashed up cars and stuff like that uh, let's see if I can get up oh, there is the uh, the watchtower that was built or the little spy tower whatever you want to call it uh, that was built further on down the road we don't know what was going on with this And then we did have smoke arising from uh, the gas station. Uh, I'm looking, I don't see any other reports of, um, you know, what else happened, why the uh, gas station was smoking, what was going on. But, um, yeah, that's what we got. Now, on to the third day of filming. Confirmed filming was Carl. Rumored filming, Daryl. Uh, truck might have been spotted at base camp, but not confirmed. Ezekiel might have been filming. Instagram picture in costume. Early morning Instagram from uh, Kari, filming, question mark, or later Graham, question mark. Uh, it should also be noted that Kingdom people were spotted at a hotel the night before, so they were around to film. Uh, there were probably multiple scenes filmed today. One of them involved Carl alone. A scene was witnessed where Carl gets out of the bird van and walks around the area with the gas canister. He's followed by a couple of walkers. Looks like this could be a callback to the very first episode. Two buses full of walkers were spotted leaving base camp heading towards the set. So there were other filming along the uh, Highway 20 involving a herd of walkers. At this time, we are unsure whether other cast members were involved in the filming at this site. Now let's see if I can find my pictures for it. Uh, there's a picture of, um, you know, Rick at the gas station. Here's the, here it is right here. Here's a picture of, um, you know, Carl with his gas canister. This is most likely going to be a flashback to, you know, season one, episode one, where, um, you know, Rick is walking with uh, the bag of guns on his back and he had the gas canister when he first encounters, um, you know, the little, the little girl walker, you know, basically uh, his first kill. Uh, so moving right along here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of pictures here. So like I said, feel free to go back and uh, check out my filming update videos for him because that's what I'm basically doing is scrolling through all these pictures right now. Um, 
All right, so here is a picture of the highway uh, that they were filming on. This is where uh, you know Carl was basically walking around with that gas canister. Like I said in other videos, uh, sometimes when they're filming on roads like this, it is really hard to get pictures and information because as you can see, this is a very long strip of road. And as you can see way down here in the back, you know, this is basically right where the intersection is. And they have had, you know, police and stuff like that blocking off, um, you know, the roads so people can't, you know, go down there or get any type of pictures and stuff. And as you can see, they film pretty much right smack dab in the middle of the road. So even if you're driving by, you won't be able to, uh, to really see anything. I'm not sure how these pictures came about. I don't know if somebody used a drone to actually get these or if there's, I don't know if this is from a building or something, but, um, yeah so that's why sometimes um there's not that many uh news and stuff like that in pictures from my filming update uh videos uh and then we have a picture of a walker uh, let's see what else do we have aerial view all right so on to the next day of filming rumored filming rick daryl and jadis Pollyanna was spotted walking from the gin over to nick and norman's for a cast party later in the evening some people thought that she might have filmed early in the day. A few locals had suspicious that Daryl and Rick were also filming as well. It's likely that several cast members were filming again. Filming at Hampton was questionable at first. There was heavy rain in the morning. At some point, they appeared to have filmed there for a little bit. Uh, not sure who was there or if they were able to complete their scenes. A police officer mentioned that there were explosions filmed. At this time, we have not been able to corroborate the explosion report. However, the filming letter for this location did mention uh, simulated explosions, so it is very plausible. Um, in the afternoon, filming took place at the gin. Mixed reports of exactly where. Some locals speculated there was uh, filming in one of the houses. Others speculated more filming possibly out near Crook Road. There is speculation about studio filming, but there's no confirmation. Brandon Davis and Dalton Ross, I think those are the uh, comic book, comicbook.com guys, uh, made a set visit and got to partake in some interesting looking cake. Uh, they definitely visited the studio and Brandon mentioned that he got to watch Nicotero direct some excellent, excellent scenes. Mm. Not being able to speak anymore, I'm losing my voice. Uh, but here's another uh, picture of a walker, uh, basically, uh, you know, when Carl was out walking around on that road and stuff. This is one of the walkers. Um, again, this walker does look very creepy because uh, it does look like he's carrying a skull. I don't know if this is just, um, you know, kind of like a behind the scenes, you know, not filming thing and they're still setting up. But if it is or it isn't, and this is actually live filming... Uh, that's pretty creepy that this walker is carrying a walker's head and what could be a knife. I don't know. This kind of looks like, um, what is it? Kind of like a um, cross, cross guard, I guess, um, you know, for a knife. And maybe this could be a blade right here. If so, that is really creepy. But again, don't know. Um, yeah, see, my pictures are completely out of order. Uh, next day of filming, rumored filming, Rick. Gregory. Uh, apparently Gregory tweeted that today uh, was his first day filming season 8. Daniel, Gavin, Simon, Austin, and Andy. Uh, then they posted an Instagram picture. Uh, a few more Instagram pictures as well. Dwight, you know, uh, in makeup. And um, Simon or Stephen Ogg, you know, tweeted a picture and stuff like that. Uh, judging by who appears to be on... Uh, on the sanctuary set it looks like they're filming the attack on the sanctuary from the comics if this is true it would explain the large amount of extras this would also mean most of the cast members were probably filming casting calls came out earlier this week seeking some rough and tough biker types very possible they were needed for today's filming and of course uh, you know there's a couple of pictures of the extras parking lot which is jam-packed full of cars now on to uh, the next day of filming. I think this is, um, which day is this? This was uh, May 8th. Uh, filming speculated Father G, Gregory, Negan, Ezekiel, maybe, and Saviors, of course. 
News was quiet, but several cast members were buzzing on social media, implying that they might have been on set today. And of course, there's just more pictures of uh, Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, Seth Gilliam posted on Instagram a few pictures. Stephen Ogg, um, Xander Berkeley tweeted out a few pictures and stuff like that. So, a Saviors Extra tweeted this Monday night, perhaps a makeup test for an upcoming scene. Someone's getting messed up. Um, there's a picture of it. Um, basically like a blown out looking face. I don't know, his eyes completely missing and there's like this blue stuff, probably like a green screen type of thing, so. And on to May 9th day of filming, confirmed filming. Rick, Michonne, Carl, Judith, Enid, Father G, Aaron, Eric, Scott, Francine, and Tobin. Wow. Uh, there was a scene filmed inside or around one of these houses with Judith. At this time, we are unsure of who filmed with Rick. Or, we are unsure of who filmed. Uh, Rick, Carl, and Michonne did not appear to be present for the scene. Another scene was filmed with several Alexandrians packing up some strange-looking armored vehicles, which you can see right here. Uh, they were loading them up with weapons. Uh, they said their goodbyes and then got into the cars and drove out the gates. Witnesses reported that Rick, Michonne, Carl, Father G, Aaron, Eric, Scott, Francine, and Tobin, and several other Alexandrian extras were inside the cars. Looks like they are headed towards the sanctuary. And yeah, as you can see, uh, basically it's like uh, called the Rolling Fortress and stuff like that. There's like a whole bunch of uh, different car cars that have, uh, you know, armored plating on the sides and stuff like that. Wow, I'm really losing my voice right now. Uh, moving on. All right, so May 10th, here we go. Gregory, Rick, Negan, Father G, Saviors, and Alexandrian Extras. TWD Zone is reporting the following information about Sanctuary filming. At this time, we cannot confirm this. If we can get a solid confirmation on this, I will update. So anyways, filming was at the Sanctuary location where many things have changed since we last saw the Saviors cheering on Negan's declaration of war in the Season 7 finale. The fence with the hanging molten metal walkers Eugene created that protects the sanctuary, um, there's a picture, um, has been destroyed, ripped apart, and spread all over the courtyard uh, that can also be seen behind Eugene. Yeah, if you look at the picture, they're talking about it. Uh, so something huge clearly happens in episode 801. So very interesting right there. Uh, that fence with uh, the molten metal walkers. Um, yeah, gets destroyed, ripped apart, and uh, scattered all over the courtroom, or courtyard, whatever. Um, the whole area is in scattered in flames. Also in the courtyard is an old trusty RV, but it has been blown apart and was on fire. The whole place looks like a war zone with just four scenes shot here. Here comes more crazy. The armor cars that were at the gin, aka Alexandria, and the images from the other day are now at the sanctuary really only two of the cars one truck one car the car is uh father g's and the truck is rick uh rick's wow i am totally messing up this video with all my words but this is so much reading um seems gregory is being held at sanctuary where rick and father g go to save him but here's a twist just as uh, just as gregory comes out screaming like a little girl from within the sanctuary rick pulls off almost as if he didn't even know Gregory was there, or he just didn't care. But something strange went down just before Rick drives off. He gets a Polaroid camera out of the truck and takes a picture of the front of the sanctuary. Gabriel sees Gregory and jumps out of his car to save him. Father Gabriel tells Gregory to go to the car, and as this happens, Father G is overpowered by gunfire and walkers. Just as he was about to run back to the car, Gregory takes off without Father G, leaving him behind as Gabriel is screaming to him to stop. At this time, Father G makes a run for it and heads... I don't know why that just cut off right there. And heads... Okay. Uh, Father G makes a run for it and heads into a large door that leads into another courtyard within the sanctuary. He again runs into a shit ton of walkers, so he runs into a trailer, closing the door in a nick of time. Uh, Salt, 
S O L T. Not sure if that's just um, an anagram for a different group or something, but whoever this was also saw uh, amongst the props laid out altogether a head to shoulders Michonne dummy, which looked real as hell of the type we have seen used before in the show for several characters. Sounds as though we could be seeing some sort of Michonne stunt in this episode. The figure was not bloody, showed no visible wounds, walker bites, or etc. So it is unlikely anything drastic happens to Michonne. Uh, now there's an update. We have a source that provided us with accurate tidbits in the past that was able to confirm uh, Walking Dead Zone's reporting about the sanctuary attack. They also confirmed Negan throwing Gregory down the stairs. They weren't sure about Father Gabriel's status or the piece about Rick taking a picture. It doesn't necessarily mean the initial reports about this are inaccurate. Wow, I am really messing up this video a lot. It is just so much reading. Uh, the source was just not aware of it. In addition to our source, also offered the following tidbits. I have not been, been able to corroborate this information with multiple sources yet, so it does still need to be taken with a grain of salt. So the rumors are Negan gets shot, possibly in the leg, unsure of who shoots him. There is a line of dialogue that is something along the lines of, are you going to come down here or make me come get you? At this time, we are not sure of who says this. We are speculating that it might be Rick talking to Negan. There were several walkers involved with the sanctuary attack. They swarm all over the sanctuary yard. Update. Uh, additional source corroborates the information about the sanctuary posted so far. In addition, also provides the following details. Rick, Father G, and Gregory were the only main characters involved in this scene for particular this particular day. At this point, the fences are down. The RV is scorched, and the area looks like a war zone. Father G and Rick pull up in their armored cars and truck. Rick takes a Polaroid of the sanctuary. They begin shooting at the sanctuary windows, where saviors are posted up and shooting back. A gunfire ensues. As the herd of walkers gets closer, Gregory runs out screaming, Don't leave me. Father G begins to cover Gregory. As Rick runs to his truck, he yells at Father G to leave him. He gets in the truck and takes off. Father G continues to try to save Gregory. It backfires as Gregory runs to Gabriel's car and drives off without him. Uh, note, TWD Zone source stated Rick took a Polaroid right before he leaves the sanctuary. Uh, this source thinks that he takes it before the shootout. Uh, as the walkers inch closer, Father G runs into a boarded up trailer that is down an alleyway of the sanctuary. There's an aerial shot of all the walkers surrounding the trailer as Father G is trapped inside. This source saw a female dummy with a gunshot or some kind of wound to the head with lots of blood. They do not know if it was Michonne or not. It should be noted that the source did not get a good look at this dummy, but since uh, this one had a wound and the one the walking, the walking Dead Zone reported had no wounds, we can assume these are probably two different dummies. There was a scene that involved Negan uh, on the balcony and Rick and Father G are behind their armored cars uh, and there is talking and gunfire involved. Whew. As you can see, this is a lot, of write, uh, a lot of reading. I am trying to go through this as fast as I can because I hate doing videos that just take so long. Uh, so moving on, um, May 11th. Tara, Morgan, Carol, Daryl, Ezekiel, Jerry, Daniel, Kingdomers, and Saviors. Tara, Morgan, Carol, and Daryl all filmed a scene together. There are a few witnesses that seem to think that Carol and Tara shot a quick scene together. Uh, these four end up splitting up. Morgan and Tara are in a car together. Tara is driving. Morgan is in the passenger seat. Mixed reports about Carol. Some thought she might have been in the back of the car with Morgan and Tara. Other scouts reported that she took off alone in another direction. Then Daryl also took off on his bike. Witnesses said they saw. Uh, witness said, the way it was filmed implied they departed in separate directions. At some point, Daryl is speeding down the street. He turns around to aim his gun. No gunshots were heard. They might have been preparing some sort of ambush on the Saviors. The Saviors were filmed going down the street on four motorcycles and two cars. In a separate scene, a savior car is blown up. A herd is drawn to the explosion. Uh, 
Morgan was filmed walking away from the fiery car with a herd following him. I think I have a few pictures here. Yep, here we go. So there's uh, one car here, there's another car here, and the uh, four motorcycles. Later in the day, there was a scene filmed where the Kingdomers are all walking around near a church. Ezekiel, Carol, Jerry, and Daniel are supposedly a ways in front of several Kingdom extras. Uh, the Kingdomers come around the corner and start shooting at the Saviors. One of the Saviors throws a grenade at Team Kingdom. Filming wrapped up right after this. At this point, we're pretty sure if they film the aftermath of the scene, we do not know... Um, wait. We're not sure if they film the aftermath of the scene, so we're, we do not know if there were casualties from the grenade encounter. Whew, man. So here's another shot, another picture right here. Um, after the explosion, the car flips over. This is the uh, the giant herd of walkers that comes right down the street. You know, right after that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Any more? Yeah, see, it's just a lot of pictures. More and more pictures. More and more pictures. Lots of pictures. Walkers. You know, more herd coming down the uh, the street. Oh, there's another shot of, uh, you know, the giant herd of walkers that was, uh, you know, attracted to the explosion. All right, there's a lot of pictures. I'm just trying to find all the news. Oh, and there we go. There's a... Uh, a picture of Morgan walking away. As you can see, you know, there's the uh, the bikes on the ground. Uh, the car flipped over in flames. You can see Tara right here in the background. And there's Morgan walking away from the herd of walkers and the explosion like a badass. So on to May 12th, uh, confirmed filming, Carol, Ezekiel, Daniel, Jerry, other kingdomers, Jesus. Rumored filming, Tara, Morgan, Daryl, and Aaron. Filming took place near the church in the building next door that was transformed into an industrial research building. The other part of the building was dressed up to be used as an urgent care center. Kingdomers and Carol entered this building, which must have been infested with walkers. Several walker kills. There was mention of a special Jerry kill. Very interesting. Hope it's the axe. I don't know if this was a walker or a savior. Probably a walker. Apparently Shiva was on set also. Jesus was also filmed. It appeared he was filming alone walking down the street. And I think that is all the information we have. Let's see, going through all the pictures. Yes, okay. Oh, and then there's the, uh, here's the picture of the callback to, uh, you know, Rick and Carl from episode one, episode 100, like father, like son. But, um, yeah, wow. Uh, that is everything we know about The Walking Dead, episode 100. Um, I know I kind of screwed up my video a little bit. I was stuttering with my words and stuff like that. But, you know, it was just so much reading. I was trying to get through it as quick as possible. I hate doing long videos. I like to keep my videos nice and short. But unfortunately, it's just, this video is about 24 minutes long. So, you know, I tried to go through it as fast as I could. But anyways... Um, yeah, that's all the pictures. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you guys like the channel, feel free to subscribe. You can follow me on social media. Uh, links in the description box below. And leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think about episode 100? Um, Sanctuary Attack. Um, Morgan blowing up cars. You know, the ambush. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, uh, stick around, more videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.